Good evening, everybody. We are playing Chrono Trigger, and this might very well be the last episode of Chrono Trigger. We are in the Black Omen, we're near the end of it, and there's not much left to do. So let's do it. This one was, yeah. So you'll notice that it is the Terra Mutant instead of T R R A instead of T R A, which I think is a mistake. So this one is interesting. Um, I actually played this a little bit after the episode finished. Um, and if you hit the bottom half of this guy, it knocks you down to one hit point. So we're gonna try to avoid that. And all it does is suck hit points away from the top side, from the bottom piece. So, basically, if we just attack, we'll eventually end up with um, the uh, bottom part getting killed by the top part, and then we'll kill the top part. Um, yeah, we're immune to st st status effects, so... And the, uh, the event that I was trying to uh, do, I figured out. Uh, and by figured out, I mean I looked it up, and as soon as I looked it up a little bit, I realized what I had been forgetting. I did it before, but somehow I forgot, because it's been, what, 20 years since I played this game or something? <laughs> something like that. Crazy thing is, the last time I uh, plugged in my cartridge, it still had my save games on it, so... Those batteries are bizarrely good. Yeah. Is there anything we can do where we just attack? single enemy. Yeah, there is. Alright. Let's see what this does, if anything. Honestly, that's not that much more damage than if they had just each used their own regular magic ability. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, unfortunately, some of these fights just aren't really that interesting at this point. The game kind of ran out of tricks. Maybe I'll show off the, uh... Oh boy! Uh... Yeah, let's show it off. Not with him. Not with him. There we go. So, it only heals the bottom half. And, oh, it didn't counter. Oh, well, whatever. I guess if you attack it, it counters. Physical attacks do a little bit of damage to the bottom half, but not much. Frog is consuming MP at four times the rate of the rest of the characters. Because he doesn't have the, uh, uh like a, a MP reducing, uh, MP use reducing item, like the, the studs that both, uh, Marl and Chrono have. By the way, I looked up her name. Is that pronounced Marl? Which, I've never heard that name before, except in this game. Oh well. Oh no, damage. Not much. Yeah, this, this enemy is, like, instead of having, like, a neat trick that you have to use to beat the enemy, it just... It just murders you if you don't do it right. There we go. Oh boy, it gained 25 hit points. It's gone. Yeah, the bottom half can't live without the top half. And since it's right here, may as well shelter up. That's a lot of damage. Again, the trick here is simple. Don't attack the spines.
We're immune to disorder. Attacking frog, huh? Okay, there we go. I think this does it. But we'll throw an ice to it out just in case we need it. I like the fact that you can tell which one is dying by where that sound is coming from in your ear. They're all a little bit different. Oh boy, another. Boy, clones. So she gets some really, uh, ridiculous attacks here. We're gonna need to make sure that we have a double cure available pretty much throughout this battle. That Hellation ab ability, uh, is really dangerous because if she attacks anybody... We're just... You can, you're just toast, basically. Because she has some attacks that just do a tiny bit of damage to everybody. So if, if she hits you with one then the other, you're toast. And she pulls MP, I don't know why. Oh, she did it again. Dang it! And I already told Frog to attack, so... This could be bad. Let's see if we survive it. Come on. Yeah, and sometimes she just spams it. It's ridiculous.
Yeah, and she just pulls it over and over again. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. She just does it over and over again. one of those fights you have to slug through. And then she has this brilliant idea. Okay, this is another... Because he gains every time you hit him, it's basically hit him with the hardest, uh, most damaging stuff you've got. But the goofy thing is that that's not really that bad, even. Come on. See, he releases the energy, and then he stands still for a while. And the problem is that he doesn't lose his defense when he stands still. So, we'll see here. Oh no, I guess he does lose his defense. Okay. That's not what I- oh well. <sighs> oh, he's back up.
Geiges machine. The irony is that since we're doing this in uh, 12,000 BC, she's been here like tw 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, here we go. Man, her magic defense is amazingly good. That same attack does like 200 damage to Frog. Oh no, what does this do? See, this is this is where halation is really bad because Yeah, cuz that can happen. Oh no. I'm tired of this. Come on, let me select tomorrow. There we go.
Rendering polygons. She's down. <laughs> you practically taunted us. Oh, that's probably bad, huh? Yeah, that's probably bad. But we destroyed the Black Omen. It's gone, in the earliest time frame possible. So this is interesting. Basically, Lavos is going to start off by taking the form of a bunch of other bosses. And unfortunately, they don't really give a good like story reason why he does this. And the bosses aren't actually like made stronger in any significant way. So, like, I can just do that. Yeah. It would have been cool if they had, like, made this part of the story in some way, but it's, as it is, it just seems kind of like a... What's the word I'm looking for? It's just a time sink. Like, I can literally Luminaire the first three bosses and basically do everything that way. Yeah, it's gone. Oh yeah, remember remember Hecron? Luminaire. <laughs> Oh boy, it did 20 damage. Yeah. They... It, it's literally a copy of the earlier bosses. I guess it kind of makes you feel like you're really... You've really gotten... You've really advanced, but... It goes on for way too long. Uh-huh. Remember this? What was it called? Zombor? I don't even remember. Luminaire!
And it gives you a chance to heal up between each fight, which is kind of ridiculous. One down. Oh, right. Is he strong against all magic? That side of him? Maybe. No, not quite. Lightning, though. Yeah. Right. Whatever. Okay, what's next? Masa Mune. See, the thing to remember here is that if he does some specific attacks, you'll need to use a slash on him. Although, he probably won't have the time. Yeah. Oh, remember, um... Azale? Alright, we do that. Oh, that's awesome, it hops. But it does like 20 damage. And now we can just beat the crap out of him because he's been lightninged. And if we're quick about it... Yeah, we took him out before he even had the chance to reflect the lightning back on us. Oh, it's Magus! Remember this fight? This was really hard! may not be what he's weak against, but what it will do is trigger him to change his barrier. Fire. Which we can't do any damage of, so nuts. Yeah, and it does do it does basically no damage. Masamune drops his magic defense. That's nice. So with his magic defense knocked down, we can hit him with Glacier. No, oh, we can't. Oh, that's weird. Eh, whatever. Ice. We can do ice. I suppose, hypothetically, I could, um... He didn't barrier change. What's happening? Is he dropping his defenses? Oh yeah, he is. That means we got him. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. Okay, this is another one. Nice. Oh, she, she actually stopped him? Does that do anything? No. That'll do anything. Oh, yeah. So he's going to drop his defenses in a second. Get everybody sped up. For him to drop his defenses. Yeah. He's going to start counting down. I think. But, if we're quick about it, he won't even have time to get through a single cycle. Maybe he will. Giga Gaia or whatever that thing was. Hold on. Oh no, it's the double part attack, Dark Plasma. Oh, never mind. Oh, but the Pear Blaster, that's what's gonna get us. I mean, seriously, it's gonna do... Oh. <laughs> just to convince them of the uh, error of their ways, we'll just have Frog cast heal once and do more healing than a damage that did. Crazy damage.
Oh no, it's parts restoration. Whatever will I do? Oh, it's dead. Okay, finally Lavos is getting serious. Somewhat serious. Oh no, it's the chaotic zone. We're immune to it. Destruction rains from the heavens. So the inside of Lawless looks a lot like a cave. But, the final battle, huh? This is a handy place that we can uh, leave once more. So we've got a couple of things to do before we finish this game. Just a couple things. Yes. So I've done this before. This, tr this triggers these little uh, things. Where we get to see Robo basically planting seeds, tilling the soil. Um, what else do we get to see him do? Acting as a scarecrow. And 
Now, Robo can tend to the forest for 400 years. And... success! The Lofty Robo. This is an interesting little shop. You can buy some really nice stuff here. Um, but we don't actually need it. something wanted us to see all this. I like the fact that Chrono's just out through this whole thing. <laughs> so this is the one-time event that I was trying to trigger earlier. Something in Luca's past. Luca's mom's name is? Oh, there it is. <laughs> so this is pretty traumatic. If you don't make it, if you don't realize what the name is, or if you didn't weren't paying attention, or if you type it in wrong too many times, you don't get a lot of time to do that. But we've changed the past. Luca's benefit this time.
Well, we finally made that right. see Robo over here. Um, there we go. So that's it. I think. Let's head back to the end of the time and check with uh, the time guru and make sure there's nothing else that we gotta do. And then it's the final confrontation. That's it. Use this team. And this is it. That's odd. Oh, whatever. This should do it, I think. shouldn't have to Huh Okay, it's already taken care of Sounds familiar. Ooh. Creepy sounds. Cell. Yeah, that's a lot of damage.
the doors of doom. It's a lot of damage. So we gotta keep our hit points above about 600. Or that will take us down. Survive this? Yes. Oh, except Frog got confused somehow. It's bizarre. He's supposed to be immune to that. pull his... That might be it, actually. Ooh, interesting. Like, maybe it, maybe status immunity is, like, a, uh, a status itself. Interesting. Shadow Doom Blades. Yikes! Whoa! Like, that did more damage than Frog has hit points. Maximum! Come on, come on, come on. I did 900 damage to Frog. Maybe he'll respawn the arms and that'll cool it down a little bit? Kind of... thinking about being careful here. Especially if he doesn't seem to be doing anything. Is that gonna 
Confused Frog again? Yeah. Get a little healing up. stage was tough, but not too bad. But now... Looks like we've reached his final form. Creepy looking. Here we go. Ooh, psychedelic. Let's see what he can do. Ooh, interesting. That's the healing side. That's the attack side. Is that some kind of... Okay, we took out the healer. Physical attack, Grand Stone. That looks bad. Oh wow, it took Marl out. Careful here. But now I think we can safely use a luminaire. I think the trick is the trick might be to not take out the other one. Oh. a lot of spin. It hurts, but... Okay. 
You have to take out the lava spit before it heal starts healing him. It looks like he recovers them even if only one of them dies. The time warp thing is bizarre. Oh no. Now Chrono's vulnerable to stuff. It's not Hellation. Whatever. Ultimate magic attack. All right, Marley's gonna Marley's gonna survive, but uh, Frog might not. No, we all survive. Joking? Oh, that's a s sick joke. All right, Luminaire it is then. more than a thousand damage to a player character. It's literally not survivable. It's great. Alright, it's time to illuminate this guy.
this kills Marley. Yeah? Yeah. Marley. irritating attacks. Some of them are dang near impossible to deal with. But, as long as we don't let it heal, Ironically, the core actually isn't humanoid. I already may have said that. so it's really hurting us. Yeah, is 
that MP. Yikes. If we can just get Chrono, we can uh, throw a Mega Elixir out. That'll hopefully get us through. Come on, come on. No, don't you dare. Son of a... Treading water, just barely. Oof. Oh, are you kidding me? I think we're done. Ouch. Well, shall we try one more time? Yeah, we're as decked out as we can be. Try one more time.
One more try. This time, maybe we can get it this time. One arm down. Whatever, we haven't done any damage to it yet, so. main body. That sounds ominous. Okay, now that defense is down. to recover status. It does. Yeah. It even fixes our ability to have defense against status stables. That's actually really good.
He also can't open his chest lasers anymore. Almost done. Stage one. Or stage two, I guess. He's gonna get 
get some really powerful attacks off. Whew. Well, it's, it's half our hit points every time. Do something. Wait, is it going to pull something? Slow anybody actually. Time warp. There it is. Disables defensive status. Anything?
bit. We might have it this time. Maybe. Got him. Throw a heal out real quick. We should have enough time to do it, just in case. I mean, it won't help us if he does something that does more damage than we have hit points, but... We'll make sure that we're all in tip-top shape. Ooh, interesting. I've actually never seen Lavos core humanoid part do that before. At least not recently. I'm sure I've seen it before, once, at some point. How many times did I play through this game when I was a kid? need them at all after this is done. Well, that's not gonna work, is it? His defense is up. Dang it. Yeah, it's a waste. Come on, come on. I think we got this. I think we got this. Oof, that still hurts. I think we got it. And Marl slept through it. <laughs> oh boy. Whoa. Epilepsy warning, dudes.
Did we do it? And descendants? <laughs> And the cat wins the race. <laughs> Clearly. And now we have control. <laughs> yep, lemonade. <laughs> Hop around. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of a mini game that we didn't do anything for. Is the cat mini game? More, more. The bell's gone. Locked off a bunch of stuff. Yep. <laughs> Everyone heading back.
Oh, the new bell. The naughtiest bell.
So this has been Chrono Trigger. Thanks for uh, sticking with me through this. Um, yeah, I highly recommend that anybody who enjoyed this pick up a copy of the game and play it themselves. Uh, there's a lot of different endings. There's a lot of different things to do. And now that we've finished the game, uh, there's a New Game Plus option, which allows us to start with most of our stuff and um, levels, which makes uh, continuing the game much easier. Uh, achieve all the other endings. I'll leave that to you guys. I hope uh, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I know I have. There's the uh, the music again. Yeah, this is one of the all-time Super Nintendo classics. I swear, it's so good. I don't know if it lets us get out of this screen or not, or if this just loops. Well, I guess that'll do for everybody, so uh, yeah. I'll be playing something else on Fridays come next week. Probably do some uh, random games for a while. Might change up my schedule a little bit. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll just say thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. <laughs>